Hey Geek, so on today's Shaka tutorial, I wanted to show you a feature that I don't think many people know about, but if they see it, they might be curious on whether or not it makes a difference. And that feature is under the export option. So you can get there using this tab here, or you could go up here to export. So once you're here, you see an option called use hardware encoder. So it's not checked by default, but if you go to configure, you're going to see these configure hardware encoding. So if you see something like NVENC right here, there's H.264 NVENC and then HEVC NVENC. This is for NVIDIA. So if you have a NVIDIA GPU, then this is the hardware encoding that it's going to use. And then if you have your Intel or AMD, this uses VAAPI. Uh, like my CPU, uh, it does have an integrated GPU as well. It does a great job with the codecs and stuff, but I also have an AMD GPU as well. And so if you don't know which one to check, you could always choose detect and it will automatically detect uh, what your hardware has. And then if you go to configure, it will check the correct one. So that's what I did. Let's go ahead and see if it makes a difference. So right now I have this video right here. It's really simple. There's not much to it. It's about two minutes long. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this checkbox with the hardware encoder. And then I'm going to go ahead and export the file. And I'll just call this one. We'll go save. And then if we go here to the right under jobs, you see the percentage and then how long it takes. And so let's go ahead and wait and see how long it takes to actually export this. Okay, and so the export is done. It took about 1 minute 40 seconds. And then if I go to the folder itself, uh, there it is. And it's about a 2 minute 10 second. So not too bad. But let's go ahead and see how long it takes whenever we don't use the hardware encoder. So I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to remove this old job, remove the finished one. Then we'll do export file and then I'm going to call this number two. And then let's see how long this takes. Okay, so this is done in 56 seconds. So that is pretty fast. It's significantly faster than the other one. So we'll go back here to the folder. There it is. Looks the same. Works. And wow, that was really surprising. But I think it depends a lot on how the software has this optimized to work with your hardware. And so when I'm using something like DaVinci Resolve, it does a lot better job at using the encoders built into your GPUs or your CPUs. And so in this case, at least with the current version of Shotcut, I recommend that you try it out with both to see which one works better. But at least you could see for me, not using the hardware encoder actually made a huge improvements in my export times. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways you use this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my Shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another video. For professional virtual business locations, check out Anytime Mailbox with more than 1,300 locations worldwide at affordable rates. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below.